Hey guys, I'm back with another video here down in the RC basement. Now, if you haven't seen this before, I, I didn't do an unboxing of this, it was quite simple. And I just actually wanted to get out and running. So I picked this on up on Amazon.ca uh, for about 80 bucks, I believe. And all I can say is I didn't have that many high expectations for this, but this thing is absolutely amazing. It will run in mud, snow, dirt, grass, and pretty much anything in between that you can throw at it. And since it is, uh, I mean, a tracked vehicle, I have a uh, RC tank, which I'll show you guys later in another video. But, I mean, the RC tank is slow, it's kind of rickety, you're afraid to do too much, it won't turn in grass without clicking a lot, and uh, this is something that's ready to run. It actually fits two G.I. Joes in there, so I have two Cobra guys. Now this is discount uh, G.I. Joe guys, it's, it's not the real guys. So uh, I think I paid a dollar fifty for each or something like that, so it's always fun grabbing the, the knockoff G.I. Joe guys. But the cool thing about this is, again, it is a nice tracked vehicle. It goes anywhere. It's totally waterproof. I actually opened it up to take a look inside and they did an amazing job greasing everything up. I didn't have to add any grease. They greased it like I would, so there's lots of grease in all the gears and everything else inside. Now, it, it says it's waterproof. Uh, this body is nice and tight. I don't think you can uh, smirch this. I would. I would suggest it after looking at the electronics inside, but uh, yeah, definitely it's it's worth getting. That's for sure. And I don't get. I mean, I've had a. I have a couple of track vehicles. I got the Blizzard, and then I have a, a Dicky Snow King, and what else do I have? I think a Lego one, a Lego tank as well. And of course, I have the Air Hogs tank that you guys saw in my uh, Monster Truck Challenge there, sponsored by. Kelvin, Kevin Talbot. Anyway, uh, back to this. So this thing is a lot of fun. It's not the fastest, but I think the power to weight ratio and the power to speed ratio is just perfect. So it's it's not fast enough to get you in really any trouble, um, but it is fast enough to actually jump it, go through stuff when you need to, and I'll just shut that. Take a look at the bogies. So actually, this one's actually made out of metal up front here. Can you see that? Yeah. So this one's actually made out of metal up front. And that actually has real working suspension. I mean, there's just springs inside, but it works perfectly. So once it's going over stuff, you can actually see that. When you look underneath, um, let's see if I can get that in the shot. There's a lot of ground clearance here. So it's it, it will go over anything. It doesn't get hung up very much. Now, the battery did come with its own type of connector. I switched that out to a Dean's connector because I have a couple of batteries like that. So you won't find a Dean's connector on this, but it's easy enough to solder up one. And you can also look back at my videos. I do a uh, soldering tutorial on uh, how to solder up a Traxxas connector, which would be pretty much the same as this one. Just a little different, obviously. So uh, there's LED lights here and here I believe. There's no LED lights in the front or the back. Well, I guess this technically is the front, but I meant on the front bumper and in the back for the tail lights. The detail on this is really, really nice. So, really not much to paint up. I'd like to put a, probably a G.I. Joe sticker kit on here. I think that would be pretty cool since there are two Joes in there. Uh, the radio itself, it only takes three batteries. Make sure that you label all your controllers. I have an abundance of controllers, so I always label everything so I know what I'm actually getting. Nothing's more upsetting is when you travel quite a distance to go RC off-road and then you grab the wrong controller. Yeesh. Always test yourself first, guys, before you leave the house. Um, so anyway, so yeah, it just takes three batteries on and off and then plastic wheel, very springy, which works perfect for the tank. So I mean, it's just gas, break and when this thing starts off it'll actually take off like this in the grass it will actually stop and it'll do a little bit of a catwalk as well you can go up over two by fours uh, the incline that you can get with this thing is it's quite high uh, the only thing is since it is kind of back end heavy when this thing's going it's doing this a lot which means anything that's coming up underneath it's just going to tackle right over which is really cool anyway so that's my 
little ripsaw tank from Amazon. Again, didn't know what it'd be like. I watched some of the videos. It looked kind of fun. And, uh, yeah, I just got it out. I've been driving it. Uh, I probably put about uh, 10 battery packs for it. It runs amazing. I'm going to try to start getting more outdoor videos going now that I live in the country and there's a bigger backyard. So I will be putting on uh, actual motion videos instead of just showing you stuff on a table down here in the uh, RC basement. But just wanted to let you know, I mean, if, if, if this is something that you're looking for, go ahead and buy it. Like, it's definitely worth it. I believe you can also get it in white as well. Um, I like the dark a little better than the white, so that's what I went for. And I know now that they're they're actually shipping these with metal tracks as well. I don't know if you can buy the tracks on their own yet. Now, there's very, very little YouTube videos uh, with the tracks on and, and driving. Um, so I don't know how they work. I know um, some people said that the one link is too much, but if you have it too tight, blah, blah, blah. So that's something that uh, would be interesting if if anybody knows of a video or if you have one with the metal tanks, I'd really like to see that roll around. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.